Grade 7, we are now in our last session in Physical Education, Quarter 4. I am Teacher Aubrey and stay with me till the end of this session. Last time, we have learned about festival dances and its nature. Today, we will learn about basic fundamental skills in dancing festival dances and healthy strength trainings, first aid, and healthy lifestyle habits. In fundamental skills, it is divided into two movements. These are locomotor and non-locomotor movements. Can you differentiate the two? Very good! Locomotor movement these are movements that allow us to move from one point in space to another. It is scanned from two words, locus, which means place, and motor, which means movement. Locomotor movements primarily use the feet for support, however, the body can travel on the other parts such as the hands and feet. They include the following. Walk, run, leap, jump, hop, skip, gallop, slide or shuffle. Non-locomotor movement. These are movements performed in one point in space without transferring the weight to another point. They should allow you to move from one place to the other. These movements include flexion or bend, extension or stretch, contraction, release, collapse, recover, rotation, twist, pivot, swing or rock. Turn, shake, and wiggle. We also have manipulative skills. These are skills developed when handling an object. Most of these skills involve the hands and feet, but other parts of the body can also be used like touching, kicking, throwing, and etc. The last topic is about healthy strength trainings, first aid, and healthy lifestyle habits. Most people now are becoming aware of their fitness. They regard physical fitness as part of their daily activities to help them to their tasks with no difficulty. Because of this, busy people find time to exercise with or without using fitness apparatus. Some prefer fitness sessions in gym with the help of fitness instructors. Physical activities like dancing, brisk walking, jogging are exercises that are fun to perform with other people and can be done depending on the person's time. Fitness and readiness. Healthy Strength Training Make a progressive resistance strength training program a priority in your weekly schedule. Strength train at least once a week, even better, twice a week. Find a facility where you can feel comfortable, where you can comfortably train and where you can have a good professional guidance. Learn the proper technique for each exercise. Train with a friend or group of friends. Consume a pre-exercise snack consisting of a combination of carbohydrates and some protein about 30 to 60 minutes before each strength training session. 
use a minimum of 8 to 10 exercises that involve all major muscle groups of your body. Perform at least one set of each exercise to near muscular fatigue. To enhance protein synthesis, consume one post-exercise snack with a 4 to 1 gram ratio of carbohydrates to protein. Immediately following strength training and a second snack one hour thereafter. Allow at least 48 hours between strength training sessions that involve the same muscle groups. In giving first aid for bruises, strains, and sprains, remember the R-I-C-E. Rest, eyes, compression, elevation. For cramp or tight muscles, if the area is very tender, treat as if for a sprain or strain. If the whole muscle is in spasm, try a slow stretch then massage, storking towards the heart. In hot conditions, beware of dehydration. For heat exhaustion, Get to person out of the sun and into a shady or air-conditioned location. Lay the person down and elevate the legs and feet slightly. Loosen or remove the person's clothing. Have the person drink cold water or other non-alcoholic beverages without caffeine. Cool the person by sparing or sprunging with cool water and fanning. Monitor the person carefully. Heat exhaustion can quickly become heat stroke. Call emergency medical help if the person's condition deteriorates, especially if fainting, confusion, or seizures occur. Healthy Lifestyle Habits Research indicates that adherence to the 12 lifestyle habits will significantly improve health and extend life such as Participate for a lifetime physical activity program Attempt to accumulate 60 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity most days of the week the 60 minutes should include 20 to 30 minutes of aerobics exercise at least three times per week along with strengthening and stretching exercises two to three times per week do not smoke cigarette cigarette smoking is the largest preventable cause of illness and premature death Eat right. Eat a good breakfast and two additional well-balanced meals every day. Avoid eating too many calories, processed foods, and foods with a lot of sugar, fat, and salt. Increase your daily consumption of fruits, vegetables, and whole grain products. Avoid snacking. Refrain from frequent high-sugar snacks between meals. Insulin is released to remove sugar from the blood, and frequent spikes in insulin may contribute to the development of heart disease. Maintain recommended body weight through adequate nutrition and exercise. This is important in preventing chronic diseases and in developing a high level of fitness. Sleep 6 to 8 hours every night. Lower your stress levels. Reduce your vulnerability to stress and practice stress management techniques as needed. Be wary of alcohol. Drink alcohol moderately or not at all. Alcohol abuse leads to mental, 
emotional, physical, and social problems. Surround yourself with healthy friendships. And healthy friendships contribute to destructive behaviors and low self-esteem. Associating with people who strive to maintain good fitness and health reinforces a positive outlook in life. To encourage positive behaviors, mortality rates are much higher among people who are socially isolated. Be informed about the environment. Seek clean air, clean water, and clean environment. Be aware of pollutants and occupational hazards. Asbestos fibers, nickel dust, cremate, uranium dust, and so on. Take precautions when using pesticides and insecticides. Increase education. Data indicate that people who are more educated live longer. As education increases, so do the number of connections between nerve cells, an increased number of connections help the individual make better survival choices. Take personal safety measures. Although not all accidents are preventable, many are. Taking simple precautionary measures such as using seat belts and keeping electrical appliances away from water lessens the risk of avoidable accidents. And that ends our lesson in Physical Education 7 in Quarter 4. This is Teacher Aubrey T. Vicente at your service. Thank you for listening. Indeed, it's more fun in MAPE. It's more fun to learn. Goodbye!